Next is a class from the Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Majjhila, Volume Eight, Chapter Twenty, Text One Hundred Through One Hundred and Eight, given by His Divine Grace A. C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupad, recorded in December of nineteen sixty-six in New York. <coughs> अपना हिता ही किसी न जानी ग्रामो बाबरे पंडित ताई सत्तमानी कृपा करी जरी मरे करिया चुद्धार आपन कृपा ते कहो कर्तव्य बामा तार सनातन वर्षामी ही आचार्य इन दिस डिसाइपल सक्सेशन फ्रॉम चैतन्य महाप्रभु लार्ड चैतन्य ही इज़ द फर्स्ट डिसाइपल ऑफ लार्ड चैतन्य and from him sanatan goshami six goshamins uh, there are six uh, i mean the first followers of lord chaitanya and then from next step comes so uh, raghunath goshami and then this this author of this book krishna das kaviraj goshami and from him nartam das thakur And then from him, Vishnath Chakravarti, uh, uh, Baladev Vidyabhushan. Uh, in this way, this disciple succession is coming from Lord Chaitanya. So, uh, as Acharya, Acharya means one who knows the principles of scriptures properly, being initiated by authority. Who knows things as they are, and they apply those things in their own life. They are called acharya, achinati shastran. He must know all the principles from authorities, and he should apply in his life in those principles. Not that he knows, but does not apply. He cannot be acharya. Apone achari prabhu jivereshika, Lord Chaitanya, he. Uh, although he is accepted as, uh, I mean to say, the personal, he is Krishna himself. Still, he uh, behaves in such a way that others can follow. He also accepted Ishar Puri. Ishar Ishar Puri uh, was his uh, spiritual master, uh, Lord Chaitanya. Uh, so this is the disciple succession. Now. How to present himself before the spiritual master? He said that uh, actually I am not uh, uh, learned because I do not know uh, my own position, what I am. But people say that you are pundit, and I am puffed up, and I think yes, I am pundit, I am learned. Uh, this is the situation of the world. Everyone who has no spiritual knowledge, who does not know what he is, is still he is very much proud <coughs> that he is very learned. So such kind of learning may be praised materially, but spiritually it has no value. Spiritually it has no value because this is temporary. Temporary, just like by force. So many people uh, is posted on the king's position, but after five years, ten years, again he is a common man. So similarly, all these material acquisition, they have no permanent value. Therefore, those who are actually learned, they don't give any importance to this material acquisition. So Sunatan Prabhu is by his personal behavior. He is presenting himself that uh, people say that I am very learned, but actually I am not learned. This will be the position. Jigyasu Sevasu. Now, because I am not learned, and very kindly you have delivered me from the mire of illusion, kindly now let me know what is my duty. This is the position one should present himself to the spiritual master. Not that 
uh, we have to first of all select spiritual master. Uh, the selection is required because as soon as you accept one spiritual master, uh, you cannot say that I don't agree with you. No, that you cannot say. Then it's useless, simply waste of time. Uh, first of all, you have to select a person who is actually representative, just like Oh, Sanatana Goswami is representative of, I mean to say, Lord Chaitanya. Just like Arjuna is representative of Krishna, because he is directly receiving instruction from Krishna and is assimilating, and he, therefore he is representative. So this is the parampara system. So we have to select a person who is actually representative of the Supreme. Then we have to surrender and uh, then we can, of course, the portion which we can, do not understand, we must put our questions. Then the procedure is nice. So here, uh, Shadana Sanatan Goswami is asking that, Kyami kane ame kane amai jari tapatra. Now, I place myself that I do not know, but I uh, request you to explain what I have. Now this what I am, Sanatana Goswami is such a learned man, uh, he is asking from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what I am I cannot know. Uh, if one thinks what I am, I shall think myself that there are so many foolish people, they are meditating what I am, what I am. Uh, what I am, you are a foolish. You cannot know what I am. Uh, just like uh, Arjuna did not know what he is. Uh, he thought that I am this body, and these uh, persons who are in, uh, in relationship with my body, they are my own man, they are my kinsmen. Uh, that was his knowledge. So you cannot know, we cannot know what I am. Uh, a superior authority will let you know what you are. Uh, you cannot know. This is a mistake. Uh, idea that I shall find out what I am. No, you cannot know. That's see, Sanatana Goswami said that, Kiyami, kindly, as you have very kindly delivered me from this illusory position, now I am surrendered soul to you. Please let me know what I am. Kiyami, kano amai japi tapatra. Tapatra means three kinds of material miseries. Uh, tapa means misery, troy means three. Uh, so, uh, what I am and why I am placed in this miserable condition of material nature. Uh, this is called jiggasu seo tamam. This inquiry uh, should be uh, in the human form of life. Then his uh, life is perfect. Uh, Kyami Jagat. In the Brahma Sutra, uh, it is called Athata Brahma Jigyasa. Uh, and in the Srimad Bhagavat, it is said, Tasmad Gurum Prabhupada Jigyasu Sre Uttamam. One who is inquisitive to uh, inquire, uh, to understand about his real position, uh, he should accept a spiritual master, uh, not a formality. Uh, so, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is being asked, Kyami Kanamari Jabhutta Putraya. Tapatraya means threefold miseries. What are these threefold miseries? The miseries pertaining to this body and mind, miseries, miseries pertaining to the, um, I am to say, disturbance of material nature, and miseries pertaining uh, to the other living entities. We are always under threefold miseries. We may accept or not accept. That is our position. I am in miserable condition due to others' arrangement, my enemies, uh, other animals or other enemies. And I am in miserable condition due to material disturbances, uh, nature's disturbances. And I am always under um, miseries due to my bodily and mental conditions. These called, they are called threefold miseries. So out of these three, uh, 
we are always under three kinds of miseries, but sometimes one is slackened, other is uh, greater in this way, but we are always under miserable condition. When a sane man comes to this understanding, uh, he is uh, eligible for spiritual elevation. And one is dull, who cannot understand what are his miseries, then he has no need of approaching a spiritual master or inquiring about transcendental subject. Just like a man who is not, uh, I mean, say, aware of his disease, he does not go to a physician. He thinks I'm all right. Just like the drunkards in the bar is free. Oh, they think that we are, they are all right. There, there is nothing miserable condition for them. But what do they know about me? <laughs> they are so much accustomed to this miserable condition that they cannot understand what is meaning of this miserable condition. Yes. So when people are in the lowest stage of ignorance, they cannot understand what is misery. But when they are elevated, just like Sanatana Goswami, they, uh, uh, he goes uh, to a bona fide spiritual master like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his representative and asks, you know, what are the causes of my miseries and what I am, what is my position? Kyami kanayamaya japita putraya ihanahi jani kamani hita. And I also do not know what is the path of my welfare. Sadha sadhan tatta pusite na jani kipakari sabh tatta kahatvapani. And I also do not know how to place my question. Yes. Uh, the blank slate. Completely. Uh, I do not know. Uh, but I am feeling that I am in a miserable condition. But kindly explain me what is my duty, what I am, and why I am fallen in this miserable condition. So you kindly explain to me. Prabhu kahe Krishna kripa tamate purna hai sab tattva jano tamara nahita putra And Lord Chaitanya encourages him that because you have come to this understanding, now all your miseries are over. All your miseries are over. Just like a man suffering from certain kind of disease, if he approaches a right physician, that means he is beginning of, uh, beginning of, ending of all diseases is there. <laughs> Similarly, if we can find out a bona fide spiritual master, and if we are actually anxious to end our miserable life, then uh, it is actually done. The beginning is oh, there. Uh, now don't be discouraged. You have no threefold miseries. Uh, because you have come to this position, therefore you are above uh, all these threefold miseries. Krishna Bhakti Dharatami Jano Tattva Bhav Jani Dattva Lagi Puche Sadhu Sabha. Sadhu, a sage or a devotee, Although he knows everything, still he always blesses himself as he does not know anything. He never says that I know everything. But actually it is not possible to know everything. That is not possible. But one, just like Sir Isaac Newton, he agrees that people say I am very much learned, but I do not know how much I am learned. I am simply collecting some pebbles on the seashore. So that is the position. If a man who is actually learned, he will never say that I am learned. He will simply say, I am the full number one. I do not know. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appreciated his humbleness because actually he was a very learned and very man of position in the society. So as a matter of reciprocation, uh, exchange of, I mean to say, etiquette, man. he also accepted, no, you are not fallen, you don't be discouraged, 
Okay. Simply, it is the, the duty of any learned man to place himself like that, uh, but you are not fool. <coughs> Krishna Bhakti Dharatami, because you are uh, already devotee. Before retirement uh, and before coming to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, these Goswamis, uh, uh, as I told you, they are very learned Sanskrit scholar. They used to read Bhagavat. When he gave false um, report to the Nawab Sahib that I am not well, I cannot attend office, uh, then uh, Nawab Sahib went to his house one day personally that this uh, gentleman is not attending office and simply submitting sick report. What is that? So when he approached, the uh, Nawab Sahib uh, saw that he is engaged with learned pandits in reading Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, then he understood, oh, this is your disease. You are now taken to the Sima of Bhagavad. So actually you are very learned, but out of his uh, um, humble behavior, he is uh, submitting himself to Lord Chaitanya in this uh, gentle way. <coughs> so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Sadharma sabhubodhaya jishangrit bandhini matihi Achirādeva sarvātha siddhati īśāṁ avivṣitaha. He says that your uh, desire is to uh, get perfection. Uh, therefore you are so much humble. So he quotes one uh, verse from Nārādiya Purāṁ that anyone who is very serious, one who is serious about knowing himself perfectly, and if he seeks in that way, then his perfection is guaranteed. The only thing is that one should be very serious. This part, 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 part of this verse is, saddharma sabo bhadaya jishana nirbandhini mati. Nirbandhini mati means he has already determined that in this life I shall make my life perfect. Then for him perfection is guaranteed. Guaranteed. If he thinks, oh, let me try, let me test also this department of Krishna consciousness. At the same time, test other department. Uh, let us uh, go uh, this way. No, one should be very much serious uh, to make complete perfection in this life. Uh, so. Uh, a man should be serious like Sanatana Goswami. Uh, and for that purpose he sacrificed everything. He became a beggar. Uh, so we should be prepared to sacrifice anything for perfection of this human form of life. Then perfection is guaranteed. Uh, simply we should be very serious. That's all. Now, uh, Lord Chaitanya says, that, uh, yes, I will have to give you instruction. Actually, the Sanatana Goswami uh, is eternal associate, associate of Lord Chaitanya. Uh, just like Arjuna, he is also eternal associate of Krishna. Now, he placed himself as an ordinary man and uh, as if he was in uh, illusion of this uh, relationship of this body, actually he was not so. But by the uh, energy of Krishna, he was uh, so-called illusion. Otherwise he would not uh, place himself in that condition, would not question Krishna, then Bhagavad-gītā would not come. Uh, that is the purpose. Just like playing, uh, he is similarly uh, the, some of the associates of Lord Krishna. When Lord Krishna or His incarnation comes on this earth, uh, His associates are also uh, present there uh, without. So some of the associates, they play like uh, this um, a fool uh, personality, like this ordinary man, and they question to the Lord, and the answer is there for the benefit of us. Just like Lord Chaitanya, he is supposed to be uh, Krishna himself, because people 
derided at him when he was actually present as Krishna, Abhajananti Mana Murha, foolish person derided at me because I am playing just like a man. So he came again as a devotee, Lord Chaitanya. How to teach, how to grasp Krishna Bhakti, devotional service, he practically demonstrated. So he is uh, eternal as Sanatana Goswami is also his eternal associate. Uh, so uh, as if he is taking lesson, uh, representing uh, ourselves, he is taking lesson from the Lord. The Lord is confirming that Jagga Patra how to me bhakti bhakti pravartaite kramesham tatta sana kahiyo tamate. The Lord is also this. This is a process. The, it is the duty of the spiritual master to select a disciple, and at the same time, uh, uh, it is the di- duty of the disciple to select a spiritual master. Now the selection is very nice. Sanatana Goswami is the right person to understand the science of devotion and service, and uh, see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the right person to give lesson to the disciple about this science. So he says, Jankapatra, you are just the proper person to understand the science of devotion. Now, Krameshaam Tattva Suna Kohiyatamate. Now, I shall gradually explain to you about this uh, devotional service, and you will understand. <coughs> now, the first question was, of uh, Sanatana Goswami. That, is, that should be the first question of everyone. What I am? Because if I do not know what I am, that, uh, there is no question of my duties and my destination, uh, everything. Everything will depend first to know what I am. Just like in the Bhagavad Gita, Arjun did not know what he was. Therefore Krishna first of all taught him that you are not this body. You are not this body. That was the first instruction. You are so much absorbed in bodily conception of life, uh, and you are thinking that you are a learned man. That is your foolishness. Uh, in the Bhagavad Gita, you will find the first uh, instruction of Lord yeah, Krishna is there. Asachyana nisu chastam prajnavadanstra See, you are thinking. You are talking with me just like a very learned man. You are arguing with me. But from your behavior I can understand you are a fool, number one, because such kind of topics never uh, is, um, I mean to say, placed by a learned man. So indirectly he said that you are a fool. And why you are a fool? Or he said that you are not his body. You are changing every moment your body. Uh, why don't you think uh, that you are not this body? Why you are identifying yourself as with the body? Dehinas uh, You are changing your body every moment uh, from the mother's womb uh, up to the death point. You are changing every moment. Why you are thinking that you are body? But you are the same. Uh, in spite of all changes, you are the same. Uh, I, I think uh, my childhood, I think that I am the same. Uh, I, I forget that I am uh, so much grown up. Uh, that is my position. Uh, so, uh, hmm. the first lesson, uh, the inquiry uh, of uh, Sri Chaitanya, of Sanatana Goswami, is that what I am? What I am? Uh, Arjun did not place himself what I am but here because. Uh, the, the instruction which is given in the Chaitanya Chaitamrita is practically higher than uh, Bhagavad Gita. Uh, it is postgraduate study, uh, higher than Bhagavad Gita. I mean, Bhagavad Gita, uh, the uh, Arjuna, he uh, did not uh, uh, question what I am. He was perplexed with his bodily conception. Now, here, Sanatana Goswami. He, he thinks that uh, um, I am not, I do not know what I am. Uh, so he is uh, advanced than Arjuna. Uh, 
he, he accepts that I do not know. So because he inquired that Kiyami, Kiyami means what I am. Therefore, Lord Chaitanya directly uh, informs him first that jivar sarupai krishna nitya das ji the living entity is eternally uh, a servitor of the supreme law eternal uh, he, he says jivar sarupai krishna nitya das that is his identity uh, so he uh, refutes all uh, nonsensical ideas that I am God, I am equal with God. In the first beginning he refused this idea that this is your, you are living entity, your position is that you are eternally servitor of Krishna or the Supreme Law. Now we shall be tomorrow.